Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion 6-inch RC, uh, or Ritchie Gratian. It's a 6-inch F9 astrograph. It's ideal for taking pictures of the deep sky objects uh, with your CCD camera, your DSLR. This one's optimized for a, a DSLR with a crop sensor, uh, though it'll work with 35mm as well, or 35mm format. Uh, so let's get a little bit more in depth and look at some of the individual features of the scope. So the optics in an RC are, are very interesting, they're, they're hyperbolic. Uh, the primary mirror is hyperbolic, the secondary mirror, that all lends itself to a very high quality flat image uh, on the CCD chip that you're using. Uh, it's F9, that's 1370 millimeters focal length, so it's great for medium to small deep sky objects, uh, maybe not the super wide field big galaxies, but for smaller planetary nebula, uh, star clusters, globulars, this is an excellent, excellent uh, optical design for that type of, uh, for that type of object. It's uh, fully baffled. There are uh, several baffles, uh, computer-aided design placed the baffles running all the way down the length of the optical tube. The primary mirror baffle uh, that comes out of the primary mirror, that's also baffled. It features small baffles inside. And then the secondary mirror uh, housing also has baffles. So there's very little light bouncing around inside, lending itself to nice, again, high contrast, uh, if there's bright stars out of the field of view, they're not going to throw a lot of light into the field of view, ruining the contrast. So overall, a very nice high quality image uh, designed for your CCD camera or DSLR. RCs are also nice because they don't have a corrector lens in front like a standard SCT does. Um, I don't like the corrector plates up front because the first thing to do over when it gets really wet outside is that corrector plate. So you've got to have a dew shield or a dew zap or something to heat the lens. Well, this doesn't have that, so it's a nice clean image without needing extra power to, to heat the elements. Um, if you can see inside, you can see those baffles that I talked about. They're, the, the scope is fully baffled all the way down to the tube, the primary baffle, and the secondary baffle. Uh, and then you can probably see the mirror down on the bottom as well. Uh, the mirrors, uh, like I said, are hyperbolic and they are also enhanced coated. They've got a 96% reflectivity on both the primary and secondary. Some other features of the, of the RC, if you look on the back here, you've got the 2-inch Crayford focuser. So again, a nice high quality 2-inch Crayford. An RC uh, has a very long back focus, just like an SCT, there are there's several inches out the back. So in fact, this one, when you rack it all the way in, you've got about six inches of back focus. So the light comes to focus down here, six inches away. What that means is you can put uh, uh, filter wheels in front, uh, focal reducers, off-axis guiders, anything you want in front of the camera to uh, enhance the view or the quality of the image that you're gonna be taking. So plenty of room for added accessories. It's a two inch, Focuser comes with a step down adapter. It's got a brass compression ring on both of the step down adapter and on the main focuser. So it's not going to mar the surface of your, uh, the, the barrel of your camera or your eyepiece or whatever you're putting in there. And it grabs it securely and safely and holds the camera on very tightly. The focuser itself is rotatable. I can loosen it here and then rotate the focuser 360 degrees to find the best position for when I'm, I'm focusing the camera and then lock it back down. And then if you see the uh, focus knob here, it's got a 10 to 1 reduction. So here's your 1 to 1 speed, and then here's your 10 to 1 reduction. So you can get critical focus uh, just by simply turning the slow motion control on the, on the focus wheel. On the top, we've placed two finder brackets. Uh, this is the dovetail finder here, and then also over here as well. Uh, many times when you're aiming in different parts of the sky, uh, the finder scope, which is usually off-center, gets into a, a strange angle. So if you're using it to locate something, you've got to kind of contort it to this strange angle. So we put two finder brackets on it. I like to have two different optical finders. I mean, maybe one optical and one reflex sight. That way you get the best of both worlds with both finders. Um, just for your convenience, it's easy to, uh, uh, to always have a finder within easy access. Speaking of the focuser, uh, that's another difference between an RC and a schmidt cassegrain when you're focusing here, the camera or your eyepiece or whatever you've got on the back is moving against the fixed primary mirror. In a Schmidt cast, you're moving the entire mirror, the primary mirror back and forth. Uh, so the mirror is on a gear and that can lead occasionally to some, um, some slop or some mirror flop in the, in the uh, primary mirror itself. So with an RC, you don't have any of those problems. The mirror is fully fixed in place, just like it would be on a, uh, 
uh, reflector or in a, uh, a refractor as well, since there's no moving parts to the optics. Uh, so a nice solid system, you can track over long exposures and not worry about the uh, gravity affecting the mirror in different positions as it moves through the sky. So uh, overall, a very nice solid system for astrophotography. On the bottom of the RC is a standard Vixen uh, narrow dovetail bar. So this will attach to any, uh, any Vixen style equatorial mount. The tube itself is 12.1 pounds, so all you need is some sort of equatorial mount that holds at least that much weight. I would suggest something a little bit bigger if your main goal is astrophotography. Here we've got it on the Sirius mount, which comfortably holds up to 30 pounds. So that would be the scope plus any number of uh, astrophoto accessories that you need to add onto it. But realistically, you could put this on even the Skyview Pro, which holds 20 pounds. Uh, just don't be too heavy-handed in putting a lot of extra equipment on top of the thing. You want to have a few pounds of overhead when you uh, look at the weight rating on the mount. Now, I mentioned that the RCs have a very long back focus. So the light coming out of the two-inch focuser here comes out another six inches. So there's plenty of room for those optional accessories, the camera, the filter wheel, the reducer, the off-axis guider. Uh, in order to find the right focus point, the telescope comes with a series of rings. It comes with a two inch extension tube and then two inch and a quarter extension tubes. I believe when you're using a standard DSLR, you'll be using the two inch and one of the one inch uh, rings to find the right focus point. So they thread in right underneath this collar on the back of the focuser here. So you remove the focuser, thread on the right appropriate number of rings, thread the focuser back on, and now you've got the proper range for your imaging needs. All right, so there you have it. This is the Orion 6-inch F9 Ritchie Cradian uh, Reflector Astrograph, an excellent optical tube for medium to high power imaging of nebulae, galaxies. It, it, it's a very flat field, a very high quality optical system with low glare, low light bounce because of the baffles. Uh, overall, an excellent optical quality telescope for astro imaging. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.